Dell's XPS laptops are considered the gold standard when it comes to premium notebooks, and the newest XPS 15 is no exception. Priced at $1,549, $1,049 to start, $2,990 for 4K, Core i9 CPU, this is one of the most powerful laptops on the market, thanks to its Intel Core i7 processor and NVIDIA GTX 1050T graphics. It's also drop-dead gorgeous with its slim, modern industrial design, incredibly thin bezels and lovely display. The 15-inch still suffers from the XPS line's biggest flaw, an ill-placed webcam, but, overall, this is one of the best Windows laptops you can buy and a formidable foe to Apple's much pricier 15-inch MacBook Pro. With its clean industrial silver aluminum lid and undercarriage sandwiching a soft-touch black interior accentuated by smooth, rounded corners, the latest XPS 15 looks pretty identical to its predecessors. It's not a bad thing, as the laptop is very sleek and looks great in an office. The laptop is a little underdressed for a LAN party, but it's still an attractive system no matter how you slice it. Similar to the 15-inch Apple MacBook Pro, the laptop sports only one adornment, the glossy Dell insignia in the center of the lid. It's a minimalist chic that I dig. Swathed in soft-touch black carbon fiber, the laptop's interior is just as familiar as its exterior, down to the power button that doubles as a fingerprint reader in the top right corner. The barely there infinity edge bezel surrounds the 15.6-inch display, giving way to the large bottom bezel housing the webcam. Measuring 14.1 x 9.3 x 0.5 to 0.7 inches, the 4.2-pound XPS 15 is one of the slimmer notebooks in its class. The Microsoft Surface Book 2 also weighs 4.2 pounds, but has a much thicker profile at 13.5 x 9.9 x 0.9 inches, much like the HP Spectre X360, 4.6 pounds, 14.1 x 9.8 x 0.8 inches. The Apple MacBook Pro, 13.8 x 9.5 x 0.6 inches, is slimmer and lighter at an even 4 pounds. The Huawei MateBook X Pro is the smallest of the bunch at 2.9 pounds, 12 x 8.50.6 inches, but it also has a smaller 14-inch screen. The XPS 15 has enough ports to allow for a solid work or gaming battle station. On the right sits a USB 3.1 Type-A port, an SD card reader, a noble lock slot and a battery status indicator flanked by five lights. There's another Type-A port on the left alongside a Thunderbolt 3 port, an HDMI 2.0 port, a headset jack and a port for the AC adapter. We tested the XPS 15 with both a 4K Ultra HD touchscreen and 1080p non-touchscreen. As evidenced by the fine veins and deep red color of the flower in the XPS 15's wallpaper, the Mat 1920X 1080 display is capable of producing rich color and sharp detail. When I watched the trailer for Support the Girls on the 15.6-inch panel, Regina Hall's honey brown skin seemed to radiate, despite her silver frosted eyeshadow. Details were clear enough that I could see individual strands of the actress' chestnut brown hair, including her honey blonde lowlights. Given how vivid the color is on the XPS 15's panel, I wasn't too surprised to learn that it can reproduce 115% of the sRGB gamut. That's a very good result, but if you want the best display, you'll want to upgrade to the 4K panel which covers 160% of the sRGB spectrum. Both models coast past the 111% premium laptop average. When it comes to color, the competition falls somewhere between the XPS 15's 1080p and 4K displays, with the MacBook Pro, Spectre X360, MateBook X and Surface Book registering 117-131%, to respectively. The XPS 15 performed a bit better on the brightness test, averaging 371 nits, which was enough to outshine the 310 nit average as well as the Spectre X360, 340 nits, and the MacBook Pro, 354 nits. However, the Surface Book, 417 nits, and the MateBook X, 458 nits, were significantly brighter. Unfortunately, the 4K panel on the XPS 15 was dimmer than I would have liked, at 322 nits which just tops the category average but is less luminous than its rivals.